brought to you by the makers of Mama's Pride. Okay, Pride. folks, we're getting close. Ten seconds. Pat Bunyan, we're on the balloon check. Six, five, four, four, three. Black. three. Vader is still Luke's father. This is Cookie, and I was potty trained at two o'clock yesterday. No friends, huh? Would you just get out of prison? <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by Lil Executioner's Doll Guillotines. Goodbye, Dolly. <laughs> okay, no turning back. Okay, to get things started, I've got the need for Swede. I love those little candy Swedish fish. They have everything I look for in a candy. They look like fish and stick to your teeth. Based on the location, which of these meals could be called Swedish fish? Poached carp in Oslo, grilled grouper in Gothenburg, baked herring in Helsinki, or fried halibut in Hamenlinna? Well, at least there's other fish in the sea, although I assume most are covered in oil. Watch how easy this is. Gothenburg is the second largest city in Sweden. You know, you can add Swedish to just about anything and it makes it better. Swedish massage, Swedish meatballs, Swedish hemorrhoids. Here's one for you. This question made from 100% recycled trivia. Hey, Cookie. Whoa! Whoa, I thought our act was over. Think again, Dutch face. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Your jokes are getting old, Billy. Everything you say is recycled humor. Give it up. Your underwear is recycled. Hey, that reminds me. Percentage-wise, which material is recycled more than any other material in America? Tater, plastic, aluminum, or batteries? Why choose plastic when you can choose wood? Now pay attention. Tater is recycled more than any other products combined. Recycled tater makes up over 50% of our tater product use. You know, your 98% recycled products, Billy, that's something to be proud of. And your 98% penis drain, Cookie. It's time for... Gee, that's one smartphone, G. Which of these G's is the same G as the G in 3G smartphones? 8GB Zune, Star Trek TNG, PG-13, or the BFG? That answer was 7.9 gigabytes of stupid and 0.1 gigabytes of dumb. No, no, I'll get this. 3G smartphones are the third generation of smartphones. And Star Trek TNG is, of course, Star Trek The Next Generation. I like my cell phone plans like I like my Next Generation episodes, with lots of data. Everybody quite drunk. Everybody quite drunk. Hey. Next, Poor Richard's Jello Pudding Pops. And it's a dis or dat. I'm going to read off seven titles. For each one, I want you to tell me if it's a book by Ben Franklin or an album by Bill Cosby. If it's Ben Franklin, press the square button. If it's Bill Cosby, press your circle button. Each right answer gets you 300 bucks or three Benjamins, as they say. But get one wrong and you'll be crying for Dr. Huxtable. And you gotta do it in 30 seconds. Alrighty then, here it comes. On marriage, why is there air for adults only? Satires and bagatelle, I started out as a child. The way to wealth, Bill Cosby is a very funny fellow, right? That was so mediocre that if you were a founding father, the United States would be called Canada. 
And now my impression of Ben Franklin doing an impression of Bill Cosby. Jazz music, pudding pops, and the thing with the thing, and the jazz music, Rudy. And now I'm dancing. Where's the bomb girl? Try this on for size. Take my hand, please. Which of these characters is missing two separate body parts? The Headless Horseman from Sleepy I so wanted you to pick this one. Lieutenant Dan lost both of his legs in battle. And maybe more, who knows? He may very well no longer have any chocolates in his box, if you know what I mean. No, he's just missing one head. And speaking of one, you just won a real executioner's doll guillotine. Because sometimes a doll just doesn't get it, and she must face the ultimate punishment. This wrong answer of the game has earned you $4,000. Don't spend it all in one place. That's the end of round one. And you should be very proud of that score, because I'm not. Don't forget, all the questions around two are worth double. All right, you ready? Too bad. Why not try situation cosmology? Based on astronomy's Big Bang Theory, what might a viewer hypothesize about CBS's The Big Bang Theory? The cast is actually growing younger. The cast will one day be giant stars. Now, according to the Big Bang Theory, the galaxies within our universe are currently drifting apart. And whenever I watch this show, I feel like I'm drifting apart from the part of me that likes to laugh. Question seven. Next up, you turned me on with a clapper. So, apparently, firefly populations are shrinking. I don't know if they'll ever find out why, but if they all die, what are kids supposed to kill and smear on each other so their faces glow? Say scientists install energy-saving spiral light bulbs on firefly abdomens to increase their lifespans. If the new lights last 10 times longer than the average lifespan of a firefly, how long will they live? 10 to 20 days, 10 to 20 weeks, 10 to 20 months, or 10 to 20 years? Don't go into the light! Why didn't you pick this? The average lifespan of a firefly is one to two months. So with an energy saving bulb, they could burn up to 10 to 20 months. Unless they get smeared on the windshield of a semi or get eaten by a four year old. Blocking chickens picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. This one's known as Welcome to Flag Day Island. Where could you not take a holiday? Easter Island, Christmas Island, Thanksgiving Island, or St. Patrick's Isle? Time's almost... Easter Island, Christmas Island, and St. Patrick's Isle all exist. There is, however, no Thanksgiving Island. I'd like to go visit Guy Fox Day Island. I would imagine it would just be a bunch of people who are happy but have no idea why. Say hello to answers on page MLXIX. Based on the ancient Greek plot device known as Deus Ex Machina, how might the solution to this question come to you? You'll discover you've known it all along. It never will, because such is the human condition. A god will appear in the sky and just tell you, or you'll just have to wait for the sequel. Time's a wasting. In Greek and Roman dramas, the deus ex machina referred to the moment a god literally descended from the sky to reveal a solution to the protagonist. I'm trying to remember what the literal translation of deus ex machina is. It means god in the machine. Oh, thanks god. No problem, Cookie. Hold me, never let me go. And my dream
Take a stab at Big Gulp of Champions. Because it doesn't resemble a cup at all, from which of the following trophies could a victorious athlete not chug? Um, Gatorade. The Stanley Cup, the Ryder Cup, the Davis Cup, or the World Cup? No, but hey, since we're here, why does Winona Ryder have a trophy named after her? Just doesn't make sense. Huh? <laughs> Here's what a right answer looks like. The soccer trophy doesn't feature a cup, but two golden figures carrying a globe instead. There are worse cups to drink things out of. I would know I was the team manager for my high school freshman baseball team. Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. $4,000 for a right answer. 4000 gone if you're wrong. And of course, remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. All my exes aren't necessarily in Texas. Just remember, kids, that prenup is your friend. Good luck. That's the game! Not too bad, although I should tell you, I was answering the questions along with you as you played the game, and I scored much better than you did. No, I'm not gonna tell you my score. You just have to trust me on this. You know